Clifford the Big Red Dog in The Big Bad Cold. Clifford was waiting for Emily Elizabeth. T-Bone and Cleo were waiting with him. They wanted her to come out and play. Clifford looked in the window. Oh, Clifford, Emily Elizabeth said. I can't come out today. I have a bad cold. Achoo! What was that? asked T-Bone. Who was that? asked Cleo. It's Emily Elizabeth, said Clifford. She's got a bad cold. Poor Emily. I know what will make her feel better, said T-Bone. Get well gifts. We can make her a get well card, Clifford said. We can give her a big balloon, said Cleo. We can give her a bunch of flowers, T-Bone said. And I know just where to find some. These flowers are just right, T-Bone, said Clifford. Uh-oh, stop, Clifford, stop, cried T-Bone. All the flowers floated away. Sorry, said Clifford. That's all right, said T-Bone. The flowers look different, Cleo said, but they're still pretty. Right, said Clifford. Emily Elizabeth will like them. We need a cod and a balloon, said Cleo. They walked over to the pier. Hey, look at that, Cleo said. Samuel was standing in front of the fish and chip shack. Free balloons today, he called. Come and get your free balloon. Cleo ran to the balloons. She tried to get one. She jumped. And the next thing you knew, she was floating up, up and away. Clifford and T-Bone ran after her. At last, the balloons caught on a flagpole. Clifford helped Cleo get down. How about just one balloon, Cleo, said Samuel. Cleo barked. I'll take that as a yes, Samuel said. He laughed and tied a yellow balloon on Cleo's tail. I'm glad you're okay, Cleo, said Clifford. That's a great balloon. Just then, Clifford stepped on something that was lying on the sidewalk. This piece of cardboard would be perfect for Emily Elizabeth's card, he said. But look, I spoiled it. Don't worry, Clifford, said Cleo. T-Bone and I will fix it up. This is like finger painting, but I call it body painting, said T-Bone. Looks great, Cleo said. Just one more spot right here. Perfect, said Clifford. Emily Elizabeth will love it. Suddenly, the wind blew the card over the fence right into the Bleakman's yard. Remember, the bleakman said we can't go in their yard, Clifford said. Not even one paw. Then we'll have to get the card some other way, said Cleo. Swing T-Bone one more time, Clifford, said Cleo. He just has to grab the card in his teeth. You can do it, T-Bone. T-Bone went flying back and forth. Luckily, Mr. Bleakman didn't see him. T-Bone went lower and lower. You've got it, T-Bone, said Cleo. Yay, T-Bone, Clifford cheered. You did it. At last, the dogs were ready to give Emily Elizabeth her gifts. Are these for me? Emily Elizabeth asked. Thank you all. I feel better already. I have the best friends in the world. Well, I hope you like that Clifford story. And I hope you'll come back and visit us for our next one. Please reach down, click like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And remember, I love you guys. And as Tigger says, ta-ta for now.